morning. We're on day three, so we've had two nights away. We stayed in Ride the first night, we stayed in Benbridge the second night, and now we're off to Shanklin. Mm. And we're gonna see what we can en route. But before we go, I need to do a quick room tour of where we stayed. We stayed at the Birdham, um, it used to be called the Spinnaker apparently, Birdham in Benbridge. Wasn't a lot going on in Benbridge last night. It's quite quiet and quite a sleepy place. Luckily enough, they've got a hotel bar. We went for a little walk to the village location and had one drink in a little pub up there, but uh, the hotel was probably the better place to be. Um, so unless you're coming for something specific in Benbridge, I would bypass it personally. What do you think? Not a lot here. Mm. <laughs> Not a lot there was here. no food in the pub last night. We had a bag of crisps and stuff. Um, and then we come back to our hotel where we're staying and another drink in the bar, everyone's really friendly. Yeah. And yeah, it's quite a nice place. So Angela, to show you around the room now, we're gonna go down to breakfast, we'll show you what the breakfast offering is. Yeah, so we'll do a quick room tour, take you downstairs, show you breakfast, and we're off. So this is the big wardrobe in the room, which is great, obviously a fan, iron and ironing board, Tea and coffee making facilities over there, which was really good. As you can see, we have made the most of that. I tried to make the bed the best I could. <laughs> um, should really do a room tour when we get to a place and then it's nice and tidy. So this is the room and we have another wardrobe there, which we just put our packing cubes on last night and a quirky little cupboard there, which we didn't use. So this is the room and shower which has obviously been used and the normal bits like the sink but for very clean very tidy um it did cost us quite a bit though this this room we had a bit of trouble getting um accommodation and i think this one come to 135 with breakfast i don't think it's that cheap really um but the people in the hotel were lovely. My only reservation is if you get a room, we're room 10 and we're on the front where the road is, always ask for a room at the back because um, it was quite noisy last night and we had to sleep with windows open because it was so warm. Um, so yeah, it's the main road in to Benbridge, so you get a lot of cars come through. So always ask for a room at the back of the hotel if you're gonna stay here. Right, so we take you outside. So this is the hallway down the stairs and we're on the top floor. So we had to come up two flights of stairs. And we're gonna get all this on two bikes. Yes, that's our luggage, our panniers. So we're gonna bring them up, one's a backpack and two go on the sides. Easy, and we're off, easy. let's go for breakfast, shall we? So due to copyright music in the background, I've had to voice over this section. As well as being offered cooked food, we also had pastries, cereals, a selection of jams and honeys, as well as fresh orange and tea and coffee. And I'm now taking you through to the bar area where we sat last night and got to know the locals a little bit better. brings you out to the hallway and our room was up there. The room was facing the front like this window. And the landing room was up and off set of stairs. This is the breakfast we're having this morning. Looks lovely. Look at the bird him. Yum. Bird him come up trunks. What a beautiful morning. So, a nice breakfast. Enjoy your breakfast. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous up for the day. Breakfast is really nice at this place. So, this is the courtyard uh, at the back of the hotel. We are inside because we had a dedicated table number. But, uh, yeah, it's probably quite nice out here. Okay, so the panniers obviously clip off of the bikes so that we can take them into the rooms. You don't really want fixed panniers on the back of the bike because you've got to take all your stuff out. Um, works out really nifty, actually. So, we've got these. Nice little clamps on the front of the bikes. They clamp on there like that. And then we have Google Maps set up. I think, there you go, 39 minutes to the next destination. 
which is Shanklin. So, Angela's getting our phone ready on the bike. Oh, we have clamps. One. Two. Luminescent strip at the back. And then we have six of these. Two at the back. One at each side. Two at the front or the back. That's it, too easy. So less than 30 seconds to put your bags on the bike. There they are. All ready to go. So that works out all pretty cool actually. Um, here we go. We're at the end of the Benbridge Pier where they launched the lifeboats at the RNLI. And that's the coastline out there, the Benbridge. Such a gorgeous day. Beach huts in the distance. What a beautiful day. One out enjoying the last of the summer. Right, so we're going to have a quick look and see what it's all about. They might change the day, but at the moment it's Tuesdays. We were told about seven o'clock, I think it's evening. So if you want to actually see this lifeboat launched, it's launched from this ramp down here. And you can see that the actual front of the boat would go down onto the ramp and then out to sea. So the RNLI, right on the Solent there. to the guy and he was explaining it's obviously mostly it's like pedestrians that fall into the water they're walking along the cliff edge and fall into the water and stuff uh, he did say that the paramedics have to go out quite often with the cruise boats so they'll sail out of uh, Southampton somebody will be all excited and the heart rate goes up and uh, yeah they end up grabbing them off the cruise and taking them to Portsmouth Hospital um, but no, really, really interesting. Solent, one of the only places in the world that's got four tides a day. Uh, well, it's kind of one low tide and two high tides. Um, so yeah, really interesting area. So 
we've arrived at Sandan via Pembridge and that's the wildlife animal sanctuary over there and the beautiful beach on a sunny day and are we off again? we're off we're off 10 minutes left that's all Really 10 good. minutes left and we're in Shanklin. in a way we're gonna head round there right so we're now at our third accommodation Queen's Mead Hotel and this is the pool area just been in for a quick swim quick dip just to cool off yeah so we're out tonight in Shanklin and we're off to the Black Cat. I've eaten there before. <laughs> no, no, it was it two, three years ago, yeah. On a previous vlog, when we come to Isle of Wight in our motorhome, we ate in the Black Cat. We might have walked past it and told you, but I don't think we showed you in here. Well, the food was quite nice there. It's like a Thai Chinese restaurant. So we're going to head there tonight and grab a drink in Shanklin. <laughs> And I think this is the old theatre on this corner, isn't it? Shanklin Theatre, there we go. If we'd have come last night, we could have seen Neil Diamond. <laughs> That's the Shanklin Theatre. And now we're just heading down to the High Street. This is where all the tea rooms and hatch cottages are and lovely crazy gold and cream teas. <laughs> chicken curry, yeah. egg fried rice, noodles oh, okay. and what did you order? Duck. And a duck. And a pot. Recommended restaurant. We have been here before. Yeah. A couple of months back. Mm -hmm. Very nice food. Um, yeah, nice people. They show well. you. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, so we was recommended to come to King Harry's Bar. And apparently it's an open mic night. So we're going to head down and see if we can uh, experience any music. Let's try. King Harry's. So as you can see, we found the open mic night and the locals were so friendly and got us joining in. So join us on our next episode where it's my birthday and Wayne takes me to God's Hill for cream teas. So thanks for watching Adventures with Angela and Wayne.